In this tutorial, we're going to create a postcard mailer that will be sent out to a select client database to announce a grand opening for the Tousled Curl Hair Salon. You'll want to make a large postcard so that it doesn't get lost easily, and use color to grab attention. First, open CorelDRAW and select a new document. Set the page size to 5 by 7 inches and set the primary color mode to RGB. Double-click the Rectangle tool to create a page frame around the page, and then give it a white fill. Now, while holding down the Control key, click on Light Violet in the color palette five times. What this will do is add 10% of the color each time you click. Next, import the customer's logo. Now that you have the image, you can add text to the front of the card. For the purposes of this example, I have the text already in a notepad file. Click on the text tool, and then on the page. And then you can either type or paste in the name. Change the font to Gabriola. With the text highlighted, click the indicator arrow below the text and select the stylistic set number 7, and set the font size to 40 points. Remember, this option is only available in CorelDRAW X6. For older versions, you can just leave the text as it is. The color I'm using in this example is Deep River. Position the text centered to the right of the face, about a half an inch from the top. Next, click on the text tool and type hair salon. You can use the Gabriola font again and set the size to 30 points. Still using the text tool, I'll type the words grand opening and set the font to Times New Roman. This text I'll leave black. Next, I'll type the address and center it under the words Grand Opening. On the page navigation bar at the bottom of the screen, click on the plus sign to the left of the Page 1 tab. This will add a second page. Next, double-click the Rectangle tool again to create another page frame. Next, draw a 0.75 by 1 inch rectangle and place it in the upper right hand corner. This will be the area for the postage stamp. Next, we'll separate the postcard into two areas. On the left, we'll put information about the company promotion, and on the right, we'll put the addresses of the customers. To separate the space, draw a vertical line 2.7 inches long. Next, on the Interactive Properties bar, change the line ends to small rounded ends. With the line selected, hold down the Shift key and select the rectangle outline, and then press the letter C on your keyboard to center the line. At the bottom of the screen, click on page 1, and then select the text, the tousled curl, and hair salon, and copy it by using the key combination control and the letter C on your keyboard. Now flip over to page 2 and paste. You can move the text so that it's centered over the vertical line. In this example, on the left, I'll enter the date and time of the event and the information about the offer. Since I want the date and time to stand out, I'll set that font as Arial Black and make it 12 points. The remainder of the text will be placed inside a paragraph text box and centered with the date information.
I'll put one more line of text outlining the 25% discount and center it to the bottom of the postcard. I'll make this text Gabriola as well. The space on the right is where the customer's mailing information will go. This spot can be left blank if you have mailing labels already made, or you can use the print merge function to enter in the names and addresses. For more information on this feature, please check out our video on how to do a print merge in CorelDRAW. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a postcard in CorelDRAW.